Hi guys and welcome back to the Vice Flies YouTube channel. Today's going to be a bit of a different video. We're going to go over vices. What's a good vice? What vices can you get for a low budget, for a high budget and what vices are worth the money? Um, and what vice I use as well and what I would recommend for you to use given your, your fly time situation what you want from a vice. Um, so first of all I'm going to go over what my vice is. I use a Apex Anvil vice. This is a five-year-old vice this this exact model and it's actually a, a really good one it's still highly used the basics that you're wanting to look for is how easy it is it for you to use your vice like sort of the the rotation of the vice how well does it clamp down how easy is it for you to put hooks into the vice and how easy it for, for you to actually use how comfortable are you with the vice um so basically you want to know this before you buy it because it's a pretty big purchase that's going to last you for quite a while and this this one in particular has done me quite well it's a mid-range sort of price vice this is 150 pounds on the market right now you can get this for sale quite often um and this is it's a really good vice for basically traveling and tying at home the main reason for that is the stand at the bottom so this is a heavily weighted base to the vice that you can actually screw in and this is can be used on any countertop so you can use this when you're on a regular table or even a bedside table or something like that if you're traveling and you want to still tie away from home and um, it's got this version as well as the the clamp that comes with it so you can clamp it to a table if you prefer that a bit more real estate when you're actually tying on your table then this is a really good option for you and it's the vice that i've used for the last six years that's a really good option so next we're just going to go over some options for low-end and high-end vices um this first one we're going to start off with is the airflow premium spring lever vice now this is a really common vice for beginners to get into and one of the things that i'm going to do first of all is just say why i think that this is this vice really shouldn't be used for anyone other than basic fly tire that's not looking to be in fly time for very long this is heavily heavily sold by big retailers such as fly fish and megastore which is it's a really good retailer in the uk it does really cheap products um it's competitive rates and everything this one particularly it can be normally found elsewhere as it says there the retail price of 35 however this product is very easy to break it has only one action as it said it's the spring lever vice so literally it's just a clamp on clamp off for each hook this means that the, the the spring actually deteriorates over time and you don't get very long action out of it so it's not even worth the 30 quid that you're paying for it unless it's for say a real beginner that's not going to get into fly tying very much um for a child for example or even for um if you're looking to just get into fly tying to try it try it out with a friend or something like that then it's a vice that you can have handy um but i would really try and steer away from it if you're trying to go for a vice that's going to last you for a couple of years um and then we'll move on to the anvil vices i just wanted to highlight the options that you've got for anvil vices at the moment i would highly recommend anvil vices if you are looking for a vice that's going to last you your entire fly tying career um like it like it says here we're going to go for one that's 150 pounds which is my vice the anvil apex vice and the anvil atlas vice is 50 pounds more expensive um again from fly fusion megastore uh this actually this version does have quite a lot different to it. it has a lot more mechanics here as you can see this is you're able to rotate the fly in a lot of different ways um i don't really need that that much i don't you do a lot of river flies or salmon flies so there's not really something that um that appeals to me i only really need this basic version of the vice um but this vice is also heavily it's very popular really very popular and the replacement jaws you'll only really need uh one sort of every eight seven years i'll just show you quickly the wear on my on my vice jaws is pretty minimal you can see there there's a couple of inks in it there but it's actually pretty minimal after five or six years so it's not something that needs done regularly at all and next we'll go on to like that the the one that i would um actually su suggest for low end um a sort of low budget that you're looking to get an advice that's going to last you two years three years and you're going to get good use of it it's ma mostly snowby snowby are actually one of the better um brands for getting low va low budget faces this vice i've used previously it's easy to get into it's very long lasting actually it's quite it's quite good it's only 60 well 55 pounds now 57 and uh 
it's very it's very good vice it'll last you a good three or four ye years it's very easily as you can see it's got the weighted base so you can use it on top of tables so it's very portable it's not a g-clamp like the uh, spring vice which you can only really get in g-clamp G -clamp version so it's quite limited and um, so this is definitely the best low budget option next we're going to go into the again the the mid value vices are the apex ones but the next we're going to go into a high-end custom vices you're looking to have a real slick operation you're going to have the best vices that you can buy now i would mostly recommend getting a custom vice if you're looking to go over 400 500 pounds for a vice orvis dyna king are the two most expensive brands out there and also uh, custom made vices custom made vices are a real thing to behold they're excellent for tying a numerous array of flies like you can get custom vices that are going to be amazing for you to use have the exact way that you want them to be if you're looking to spend that money that is perfectly fine you can get something that's really good through custom vices other than that paying more than 300 or 400 quid for a branded vice you're not really going to get anything that's worth more than the anvil vices at a mid-range price other than dyna king or orvis which are really slick um they're really slick up like they're the mechanics on their vices are really really good and they're going to last you a long 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 time like a lifetime of fly tying if you were fly tying every day 10 flies you would it would last you your full lifetime uh now as you can see here they, they've got a, a wide variety of different uh, styles dyna king and uh, these are all at the cheapest prices i could find online so you've got 350 quid for the tube fly which is obviously a very specialist one so you're not really going to use that for um normal flies but the the barracuda um is actually the most popular one i've seen this used a lot it's portable it's got a lot of different mechanics to it it's really easy to use it's kind of hard to learn to use because it's not just really simple got two or three mechanics to the vice it's got a lot but i would recommend these over over anything else um so just to recap the low budget vices i would steer away from the classic vineyard spring clamp vi uh, vice because of the the durability of it and it's not really going to last you unless you're lo looking at it for this for a child or um, a real beginner to fly tying i would steer towards snow bee stuff snow bee vices are excellent that you can get in a wide variety uh, of stores even on discount even lower than that uh, and also apex vices for the mid-range apex vices are excellent long lasting durable great mechanics and uh, they have uh, an excellent an excellent overall standard of, of use apex vices and other than that if you're looking to splash out by all means get a, a custom vice something that's really fancy it looks really good that you're going to enjoy, enjoy tying with uh, and also orvis vices or dyna dyna king vices are the the two that i would highly recommend for your high-end vices but that's everything thank you so much for watching and um, if you want to have more videos like this if i go over more products um, I'd be happy to do so. I've got a, a, another video lined up, a couple of fly time videos coming soon, so uh, please stay tuned and we'll be doing more patterns uh, very shortly. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.